Merry Christmas and welcome to my channel, Rocky Mountain Gardens. Today, I am going to be sharing with you how I created my gingerbread village. Now, you may have seen it earlier in my home tour, but I wanted to be sure to let you know that this is a very easy project to do and can be quite inexpensive. If you've shopped for gingerbread houses, uh, at Hobby Lobby or anywhere else, you probably know they can be super expensive. So let's do something that is affordable and fabulously beautiful. <laughs> so let's go over to my island where we're going to get started. I picked up a selection of different uh, little houses. Let's see, I think I got this one at the Target Dollar Spot and it does have a little lighted candle, flameless candle inside. So, you know, at the dollar, dollar spot, it was a bargain. Here's another Target dollar spot, little white house. Then I found this darling church at Walmart. Isn't it cute? And lastly, if you saw my earlier, um, thrifting DIY, it was uh, Christmas in July, uh, Thriftmas. I had painted this, it was terracotta, and I painted it with white chalk paint, um, but now I'm gonna really doll it up for uh, a gingerbread house look. We're gonna take it over the top. <laughs> and so what I'm going to be doing actually is I bought these very inexpensive wood plaques. They're like 97 cents at Walmart. So I bought some different shapes. I bought one for each of the five houses that I have and a rectangular one. I'm going to be painting those with white chalk paint first. And then with these various houses that you saw in my little church, I'm going to be doing sort of a pastel looking um, uh, gingerbread village. <clears throat> and so I've got some pink and some sort of light turquoise color. And of course I have white chalk paint. And I'm going to go ahead and really transform these. So we'll start painting first. Here I am giving the first coat of paint to my little white houses. Um, it was really easy, I have to say, uh, worked quite well and went quickly. Of course, this was a multi-step process creating these gingerbread houses and I had to wait between coats of paint and uh, it really worked well. I just used this acrylic paint and it just turned out beautifully, really surprising. And then here I am with my church using a sort of a light turquoise color. And lastly, I'm painting that black roof with white chalk paint. And it went on very smoothly. Now I am painting uh, these wooden plaques with white chalk paint as well and giving them just one coat. Um, it was surprising how easy it was and of course these plaques I will be using to mount my houses on and I can add more embellishments. Perfect! I've painted my houses with two coats of acrylic paint and I was a little worried that this slick surface here uh, that the paint wouldn't stick but it really did a great job and two coats was perfect. So now I'm going to get ready to uh, decorate. And this church here, isn't it darling? I'm going to try to draw little scallops on the church roof first with puffy paint. So let's see how that goes. I'm gonna go ahead and start. And I have to say this is a little bit nerve wracking. Step. We'll set the church over here. Is going to be to put some snow on this all white house and on the roofs of 
these two houses as well. And how I'm gonna do that is I'm taking some Epsom salts, which resembles snow, and I am pouring it right on here into this large paper plate. I want you to be able to see it. So it's just regular old Epsom salts that you might use in your bath. And then I have some inexpensive glitter from Walmart. And this is extra fine glitter. And I'm gonna mix up a bit into the Epsom salts. So we have sort of a glittery look to our snow. And if I have any of this mixture left over, I'll be certain to save it. And I think I'm gonna add a bit more glitter in. So you can see this is kind of a, you know, um, just to take it and do it by eyeballing it and what looks good. You want your snow to have some glitter to it. All right. So the simple task is to take Mod Podge that I have right here. I'm going to paint the ceiling now. So my pink paint is dry here. I'm going to paint the roofs, sorry, and the chimney with Mod Podge. And then you'll see I'm going to sprinkle on the uh, snow mixture. So this is, you know, kind of imprecise and it doesn't have to look perfect with the Mod Podge because the snow will cover it up. You just wanna get all the areas covered thoroughly with the Mod Podge, a, a nice layer that the snow can stick to. And we'll set that aside, my paintbrush. And then we're just gonna sprinkle on, before the paint dries, we're simply sprinkling on the snow mixture. So that our little village looks as if it has a beautiful snow, just very recently. And I have nothing sticking right in here, so I think I missed it with the Mod Podge, so I'll just add some in. No problem. And sprinkle a little more on there. I'm just sort of tilting it to get the excess off, but can you see how pretty it is? Looks like snow in little sparkles. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other roofs, and you can watch. selection of little decorations that I'm going to be using. And I have these cute little miniatures that I have bought at uh, Hobby Lobby and uh, Michael's, Walmart. I've just collected them in different places. And these cute little candy canes, as you can see, have a little loop on top because they could be used for miniature ornaments for small trees. And what I have done is cut these little loops off with my scissors. It's quite easy to do. And then you just have candy canes or little peppermints, the same thing that you can attach to your houses. So let's get started on really making these little houses look very uh, Christmassy and gingerbread-y. <laughs> If we want to say that, we'll get started, guys. All right, so I will begin attaching here the little blue snowflakes that I got at the uh, Dollar Tree. 
and I just thought this added some super cuteness to this house. These little blue snowflakes I used around the houses, each one. Um, you can see I added some candy canes to the door entrance of this one and a white snowflake and a Christmas wreath. Um, and I'll just go on and continue adding embellishments around each side of these little houses. And so this is the step in which we're doing some embellishing. And now I have my little white thrifted house that you I talked about earlier. Um, and adding the candy canes to the doorway again on this house. And because it's pure white, the entire house, I really wanted to add a lot of color as much as possible to make it look very uh, much like a gingerbread house in a village. So there are the peppermint candies that I'm adding to the roof um, to add some interest. And then on my little blue church, I'm adding more embellishments like you saw on the other houses. And when we come to this part, you'll see that I'm using this puffy paint. And oh, look, there's a little gingerbread man that I got at the Dollar Tree as well. They come in a package of them. Very cute for decorating. But here you can see I'm just uh, drawing sort of squiggly lines around the windows and the doors. Uh, and the edges or corners of the houses to give it that icing look and you know dripping around the eaves of the houses and I really think that took it over the top to make these look very much as if they were done with real cake and icing um, so just some finishing touches there and then we're moving on to adding hot glue to the bottom of each house and mounting it on these wooden plaques. And lastly, here's one of my thrifted houses that really came almost completely done as you can see, but I mounted it on this plaque and then added snow to the plaque with Mod Podge just like we did on the roofs of the houses to give it that winter new fallen snow look. So I have spent some time hot gluing these little miniatures onto the different houses, gingerbread houses. And I also added snow as you saw me do uh, in the video earlier. I bought these little bottle brush trees and candy canes, gingerbread men. Here's a little Santa and a sled. And of course, this white house with the little snowman and the peppermint candies. And these little miniatures make a great uh, change in the design of these plain white houses. You may have already seen this little vignette in my uh, Christmas home tour, uh, but I wanted to show it to you again in case you missed that and you can see how these uh, gingerbread houses turned out. And I just love all of my little embellishments on the wooden plaques, how they sit there and add so much to the scene. And I also raised up a couple of the houses on little stands. Well, here I am back with my little elf family over here. And I just wanted to say goodbye to you all. Thank you so much for stopping by. And uh, be sure to check my playlist that is in the description box below, which will give you many, many, many more ideas and inspiration for decorating this holiday season. So uh, until I see you again, have a merry, merry Christmas.